We're joined now in our studio by our entertainment reporter, Amanda Rogers. What's going on in the world of entertainment, Amanda? Well, one supermodel who never even announced being pregnant gave birth to a baby girl this week. Patriots quarterback Tom Brady and supermodel Giselle Bündchen welcomed a new addition to their genetically blessed family on Wednesday. The couple named its newborn daughter Vivian Lake. Brady and Bunchen have a three-year-old son together, and Brady also has a five-year-old son with former girlfriend actress Bridget Monaghan. And late actress Brittany Murphy's final film is complete three years after her death. Murphy completed Something Wicked before she died in December of 2009. She passed away after going into full cardiac arrest. Something Wicked is a suspense thriller about obsession and young love gone wrong. The film will most likely go straight to DVD and director Darren Scott is shopping around for distributors. And this weekend at the movies you can see Gerard Butler as a soccer star, Bill Murray as president, and Olivia Wilde as a thief. Here is my report on the new movie releases. Who's the new soccer coach? Stacy's ex, the soccer player. Gerard Butler and Catherine Zeta-Jones star in Playing for Keeps. Butler plays a former soccer pro who coaches a peewee team to spend more time with his son. But Butler's character gets a job offer with ESPN and needs to decide between a glamorous job as a sportscaster or having a second chance as a dad. Playing for Keeps is rated PG-13. Good. It won't be too long. Had ever visited. Bill Murray plays former President Franklin Roosevelt in Hyde Park on Hudson. Murray is the first to host a visit by the King and Queen of England. The UK is facing war with Germany in hopes to secure an alliance with the United States. Hyde Park on Hudson is rated R. God, we can still make it to Canada. What if you don't call? Well, then I'm dead. Eric Bana and Olivia Wilde play siblings stranded after robbing a casino in Deadfall. They split up in a blizzard hoping to reunite in Canada, but Wilde's plans change after she hitches a ride. Deadfall is rated R. December is my favorite month to go to the movies because I feel like all the best movies come out around the holidays. Yeah, I know that there's so much coming out. Les Miserables, December 25th on Christmas Day. Can't wait. <laughs> That's exciting. Thanks, thanks, Amanda, for that report.